Right, welcome back everybody. Today we've got another little video and we're on the Mondeo ST220 and what we're doing is actually a bit of body work on this one today. I don't know if you can see from there but actually on the boot of this Mondeo there's actually two round dents there and what that was the previous owner actually had a bike rack and apparently the, the rubbers from the bike rack actually indented on that so maybe there was a bit too much weight on the, the rack and uh, that's what's caused there to um, nice round indentations there so what we're going to be doing today is before we even start thinking about rubbing down and all that we're going to take the trim off on the inside hopefully when we get behind there we can actually get down there and probably hopefully push quite a lot of this out so we have to use minimal filler so the less filler the better really I've also got a bit of a uh, light scratching on the bumper here but I want to try and see if I can polish that out first because I only want to be putting as little as paint on this car as I can. We've also got a scratch here. It might worth me just taking the paint up to there. What we're going to do now is I'll bring you over to take a look at these little dents and then we'll lift the boot up and uh, take a look inside, get the trim off and see what we can see in there. So let's take a look. Right, so I don't know if you can see that on the camera there. The dent's actually just in there. I'll try and move the angle, but so you can just see distortion in the paintwork. Just there, look. So we've got two of them, the other one's there and it's actually done no paint damage it's just uh, put two of them dents in there so it is just right under that crease so that might be a bit tough there that bit of metal but I'm hoping that most of it will uh, push out if I come from this angle you can see it there and if I come along there you could just see the other one in the middle there just under the S on the number plate there we go and as I was saying there's a scratch there so got that there and a bit of a graze there these don't feel too deep but uh i'm going to try and polish the majority of that out if i can and we'll see how we go from there what i'm going to do now is we'll just lift it back up so what we've got here is we've got a cap there and a cap in this handle a cap in this handle and there should be a cap there which is just down there I've just seen it's fallen out so so we're going to get them four off we might have to take these two little uh, clips off here just to remove this plastic shroud and uh, we'll hopefully get a look in behind here then and see what's going on so let me just get that undone and I'll be back with you right so I've popped all these caps off and they're actually uh, Phillips screws under there so we're just going to wind them out. Right, so I'm just going to take these two screws out here as well. Just so we're not going to break any clips for the sake of undoing two screws. So hopefully this cover just pops off now yet, which that does. So we'll pop that there. And I presume this is just on poppers now because I can't see any more clips on there. Screws rather. Let's just start from here. There we go. Wonderful. So we'll just lay that there for the minute. We'll just pull this boot down. Right, so we can actually get behind there. Let me just show you, I don't know what you can see. Right, so the dent is just probably behind where this bit is here. I can just feel it right there. It's right behind this bit here. So I'm presuming it's gonna be the same on the other side. And the dent on this one is here just this so they're nearing up in the same position on both sides which is a good, bit of good news that they've got this little slot here hopefully we'll be able to get something in behind there maybe just like a bar or something just or a bit of uh, wood just to uh, try and pop that bit back out and uh, see if we can push it back and uh, obviously I'm not expecting to get it right out but I want to get the majority of it out so let me just get a maybe a hammer handle and we'll try and put that in there and push it out right then guys so this is what I've come up with just these um hammer handles and I'm just actually looking at using these just to get in there and try and prise them back out so 
it's going to be a bit awkward trying to show you from uh, here. I'm going to start with uh, this side and uh, let me just have a go at that. Keep you there. There we go, we can see it. And I know we are going to generate a few high spots, but we can always tap them down. Well, that bottom bit's pushed out uh, quite nicely. I'm not sure what you can see here, so it's a bit awkward, I say. Let me just try this rubber one, because that wooden one's slipping a bit. thing is we ain't where this hole's so big we ain't got nothing to lever against we're just out of the lever zone what I'm actually thinking now is because that's coming out so well I don't know actually whether to uh, pay to get this finished off it'll cost about between 60 and 70 quid to get this uh, done because it's one panel so I mean it'll be nice to have this finished off I mean I'm, I'm well happy with that, the result of how that's come out and uh, if I can get away without putting paint on it that'd be better because I'd rather keep the original paint on it than uh, trying to blend in another silver to match this old colour so that could be a, a way forward because say us that is uh, far off, it's just, it's just a top bit where I haven't got nothing to lever off. What you could do with is like an S hook, just to hook on here, and then you can use that hook to lever off. That's what they do uh, in the trade dick paintless dent lever traps. So I say I'm quite inclined to uh, get that finished off by a professional because I know I know one down the road about 15 minutes away and uh, it might be worth going down that route I reckon so from back here I can't really notice that one I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera or not but I can actually see that one through the camera from where I'm standing but I can't see that one now and I say looking from I I can only see the one on the left but I say I'm not. I'm still going to uh, address that. But I say I'm going to have a quick go on this one. Let me do that, and then we'll see how what we get this one looking like. What these paintless dent removal chaps have is they have like a reflection board, so it's a, a suction cup to the car, and it comes off on a, a flexi pipe, and then it has a reflection board, and they actually on the board has loads of like lines, and the lines they actually reflect onto the panel of the car or the vehicle. And that their aim is to get them lines when they're looking through the panel they see the lines and then with the dent actually the line won't be straight it'll be all, all wavy and their game is to get that line in that reflection perfectly straight and that way they know the dents out because they've got the perfect uh, reflection That's a hell of a lot better than the other side, actually. Again, the problem part is just where this crease is. But that bottom bit is much better. Bang on, that one needs a bit more work, actually. I might have a go back on that one. I think that's the best I'm gonna get, that one. But I mean, I'm, I'm doing this with a bloody the end of a hammer and uh, just by eye. I mean, I've got no special uh, reflection boards or nothing like that. And I mean, I, I know I can still see a little dent there, but that bit, that feels excellent. I mean, it might want a final address by a professional. I mean, from here, that is a uh, hundred times better. There's just, um, I say little, little dents, just where the creases are. And I've got that on both sides there. And that one of the reasons is, it's obviously because that crease will be holding that in that shape. But as you can see, 
we've got that dent there. There's a little pin hole, pin dent there. But again, that if you tap that probably down a little bit there, they might get that bit to pop back out. It's, it's just all a matter of pushing from behind, tapping down, and, and all that palaver. So it's just not a matter of just getting behind it and pushing it straight out. You have to uh, work with the metal. And I say the one on the other side is a hell of a lot better. It's just a slight dent there at the top under that crease. But that's fantastic. I'm well happy with that. Now that dent, them two dents were from the top crease to the bottom lip of that boot. And I say I've minimized it just right up to the top there. So that's really good going that. And I say we haven't had to put any paint on the vehicle. But look at that, I'm gonna to have to get the polish right. Let me go get the polish out and see if we can do something with that. Right there folks. So I'm just gonna use this um, drill bit. I've got a bit of a regular G3 compound. So we just give that a bit of a shake. And I say, I'm no professional at doing body work, so don't uh, start giving me jip in the comments. It's not what I do. It's just I'm a have a go, uh, do it yourself or at home. So I'm just going to give this a bit of a... I can see for starters that ain't uh, going to do much. It's done a bit, but um, yeah. That's uh, got rid of a few of them, but this little collection here, they're not going to go nowhere. They're too deep. So I'll just have another little pass at that. There we go. And just uh, bear in mind, don't stay in the same spot where you drill for too long because you will actually burn through the paintwork. And also don't think, keep doing that, that you will get through this because you won't. All you'll do is just, I say, you'll just go through the paintwork. So what I'm gonna do now is just stick a bit of polish on that over that where I've cut it back. And I mean, that has, that has took the eye off it a lot, actually. That was quite um, bad, that was. But again, at the end of the day, it's a, it is an old vehicle. All right, so let's take a look at this. You can see, you can't really feel them scratches now, but it has damaged the paintwork. So the, the back end, from what it looked like an hour ago, it's looking a lot better than it was. I mean, if you didn't know they was there, you wouldn't you wouldn't even see them, to be honest with you. If you're walking around the car now, you couldn't even tell. So the only thing that draws your attention is this little mark here. So I might have to address that. I so say I've got some paint for this vehicle, and uh, we've got that to address. And there's a bit of uh, damage up here. And what actually happened here is. Uh, not long after I got the car, uh, the gas strut actually popped off of here. It didn't have a clip on it, if I remember rightly. I can't remember. But it actually popped off, and uh, the, because of these are all quite weighty boots, the weight of the boot, it wouldn't hold up on just one gas strut. So what actually happened is when I opened the boot, this actually popped off of this ball joint, and uh, obviously the weight of the boot, it just literally dropped down, and that, actually got a clamp between the boot and uh, obviously the body of the car. I mean, it's done no damage to the boot, boot lid, but what I was uh, really lucky with is that the glass window actually overhangs and this metal tube was actually wedged in between that. So it could have actually done me a back windscreen in uh, So I really got lucky with that. But I say, yeah, it didn't have a pin in it. So I think I did replace these. These are actually, uh, replaced by me and that was one of the reasons why because I didn't actually trust it then so but yeah that's the, the indentation 
of, of that basically, but on the, off the old one. So that's going to be a bit of a job that, and I need to treat it. I did put a bit of a treatment on it to stop that rusting, so that's gone back to bare metal. But trying to get that uh, back into shape could uh, be a bit of a job, so. Right then, I couldn't resist, so I had a little go, and I've actually managed to get this shape back now, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. What I'm going to do is, uh, put a bit of protection over this now where I've just been working with it where I've tipped the paint uh, off again so but that that seam actually comes straight back down there now so I'm really happy with that uh, it weren't so bad actually I might have managed to just do it with uh, the old tapping hammer and uh, it works it works straight back basically I was just tapping it from this side like sort of like pushing the metal that way and uh, yeah, we've got the, the shape back. I thought that was going to be really hard, that. But again, I'm not going to start rubbing it down because I don't want to create too much of an area where where we're going to be uh, spraying. So I'll say I'll speak to uh, Jimmy and my dad. But I reckon if I can get away with going over this line here, this crease line here, that'll be uh, what they want to do, I think. So I'm definitely not doing no more to that today. And uh, I'll wait for them to get some advice. But that was concerning me that was so i'm really happy with uh, that just bashing back like that i thought that would be quite hard to maneuver that so really happy so i might just whip this back on for now and uh, once i've got all that button back up together i'll come back to you and we'll have one last look over the car right then welcome back everyone i've took uh, the tools back i've put the boot trim back on i've just uh, pulled my dad out here just to have a look at uh, what he thought about the dent situation and uh as I said previously, it would be nice just to get the dent man on there and uh, keep that as an original paint. But as my dad reminded me, I did actually buy some paint to actually do this work anyway. It would be silly for me just to pay, I think, 60, 70 quid for a dent man just to get that out. And then I'm still left with this deep scratch here. I've got to paint that anyway. And also we've got the lacquer peel down there. So as my dad rightly said, why chuck 70 quid away on a dent man when we're going to have to be putting paint down here, paint here. If we're going there and there, you might as well just go there as well. It's going to need very minimal work for that. So we could have this all prepped ready within maybe an hour or so. So what I'm going to do is we've really thought about it. We're going to come back. It won't be in this video now because it's getting on a bit. So hopefully next week, next Wednesday or Saturday, there'll be another video on this Mondeo weather permitted if it's nice enough we can come out here and we'll start rubbing this down that's only needs a light sand just to get them scratches out and that i just want a slight blow in again this will want a slight rub down just to see where there is any marks any high spots we'll find that out when we come to uh sanding it down if there is any we'll just tap them down and go from there uh the scratch again light rub down to feather that out we'll go from there i don't know if i did show you at the beginning of the video We've actually got some uh, lacquer peel there, and I've just when I was just having another look at this lacquer peel, there is actually a slight little bubble rust there. Look, so I want to address that. So that'll be coming back to bare metal. We'll treat that and uh, get that sorted right out. So we'll have a nice clean arch. All the other arches are, are spot on on it. I've had a look at them. So I'm going to leave this here for this little video. I'm going to go ahead and treat that now, just to protect that until we can actually come and do a bit of work to it. I'll put a bit of vac tan on it and then uh, that'll be uh, protected then, hopefully till next week where we can come out here and uh, do a video and I'll bring the compressor out and we'll do uh, get the DA out and we'll have a go at doing all this out here and hopefully it's something for you to enjoy. But I say what I've done there, I'm really happy with that, with uh, how that has come out. But we are going to go ahead and do a proper job on it, get all these all these little nitty gritty jobs done and uh, go from there. So anyway, until next time, we'll see you about.